the race the revs ride, the counters with cheer, throwing pocket power crazy boys. Hi, this is Tits of Tits Toys and Shenanigans. After purveying and subsequently pilfering my pal's purchases, I am proud to present Pocket Power by Sega Toys. This is a line of toys that um, they brought out in the late 80s and the concept was that um, you could carry them around in your pocket and take them wherever you needed to. They came in a quite a wide variety of flavors and today we're going to look at the Pocket Power Survival Kit. It's quite a nifty little piece of kit this one. I've sort of been experimenting with it and showing it off to a few friends and have discovered some quite interesting things about it. So let's have a little look shall we? Um, it's quite small. Here it is in size with a little angry Lego lady. <clears throat> and uh, I can imagine it would fit into most pockets quite happily. It's also fairly thin as well. Uh, it comes with a variety of little survival accessories. Stay. Which is quite handy. The first of which is right on the side here and down here you can see Right on the very edge there it's got a small ruler with no sort of centimetre markings. Oh well it does, with no centimetre pointings but it does have the markings for the centimetre on there. Uh, it also comes with a compass which duly points north. A level right there which is just a ball bearing and a little uh, opposite of a dome convex dome. We've got a whistle on the side and the mouthpiece for the whistle is just on the corner. This little piece is um, a signaler which I'll get to in a minute because it's uh, related to the back. And we've got up here a magnifier which I believe is uh, designed for helping to light fires. So, as you can see, you slip up the sides and you kind of can focus your beam of light, preferably sunlight, onto any uh, desired piece of wood that you wish to ignite. Uh, the whistle here, I have duly washed it out with an alcohol wipe so it's nice and clean. And it sounds a little bit like this. <whistles> Fairly standard whistle. And don't worry, owner of this toy, for I shall wipe it before I give it back again. Um, at first I thought this was like a sort of mini telescope, but it's kind of useless telescope-wise, since it doesn't really magnify to any great extent. But um, I can see the usefulness of it uh, being to use the light fires. Now. On the back we get to this, this is a little uh, sort of viewfinder of sorts and we switch this little fellow over and you've got your survival signal mirror with directions on how to use it. This is a sighting hole and a Morse code uh, list on one side. And of course you would, uh, the way you would bust it out is you use this to aim and then you kind of aim the viewfinder through the little gaps of your fingers here. So like this. Ooh, it's lined up for me anyway. And then just once you have it all lined up, clip it out. So hopefully you're just clipping out the picture there. Seems to work um, fairly well. You can get quite a good reflection from this side. I have managed to um, get some shininess onto the walls. Um, <clears throat> Not too sure how big your fingers are supposed to be because so far doing this I haven't been able to sort of block out the the light onto the walls so but I think uh, if you had your hands far enough away and if someone was looking from a plane it would probably do the trick quite nicely. So really I think in regards as to what it's supposed to accomplish it's a fairly uh, clever piece of kit. I mean, the compass alone, the compass and probably this igniter thing 
compass, the igniter, the whistle, and uh, you know the reflector thing. You could probably use a broken piece of mirror or something if you had to car smashed or you know. But if you know you're in a plane crash, this would actually be quite a handy little tool, I think. So I say kudos for Sega for these guys for a kind of getting it going. Though really, I think the viewfinder is a bit naff. I mean, you could just kind of hold it a long way away, hold it back by your ear or something while you're doing it, and kind of aim for aim the reflection through your fingers, and then uh, and then use uh, your fingers as a viewfinder as opposed to using this as the viewfinder. But um, yeah, I think. I believe the compass still works on it, even after all these years. And the level, just being a ball bearing, seems to do the trick as well. Although it seems that my table is crooked. But, to be honest, that doesn't surprise me all that much. So there you have it, just a short review of the Pocket Power Survival Kit. Which has turned out to be a little bit more amazing than I thought. Many due to the fact that it quite efficiently accomplishes its intended idea. I'll be reviewing some more pocket power, so stay tuned.